Hey guys, off of my nose today. I'm gonna teach you guys how to decode Jake and Stratton engines. Enjoy. So we've got the model, the type, and the code. That's the spider over here. Uh, so all these come. There's always three sets of numbers. Yeah, and usually it'll be the same length. So we've got five columns of info here. The first ones will be the 30. That's what we're going to deal with first. Which just means 30 cubic inch. Cubic inch displacement up here. The second set is a three. That's the design right there. Not very useful, but just the number they decided to put in there. Obviously, means something. Fourth set over here is a digit four, which gives us it's a one zero to four, which is horizontal shaft going this way, not we typically see on a lawnmower. It must be some kind of volatile engine or something like that. And they've also used numbers. Meadows there, I mean. And second, or well, this digit here, second four, means it's got ball bearing flange, which is like on the sump, it's got ball bearings. And it's got pressure lubrication on that, it might have a filter. And last set of numbers in here says it's an electric stout with an alternator, which these are pretty much the most important info you can find the engine because just by looking at an engine I can tell I can go up here I can look at these numbers at full set right up in here if it actually has a label model type code but I can see what's going on in this engine so I can see it's got a I guess you can see it but it's a 31 cubic inch which is the biggest single cylinder it's a one I think that means it's just basic design. 777, which means it's just vertical shaft engine. Second, second 7 means it's got pressure lubrication. Right here. And last 7 means it's got an electric 12 volt starter down in there with an alternator or stator underneath the flywheel. We can also see from the type, this will give us some of the engines governor speeds, paint colors, decals, stuff like that. Not too important, but as you can see, this one's just got, I think it's got 01. Let's see. Doesn't actually give you much of the details, which not very important though. So we'll move to the last set, which is the code, which is an 01. Gives us the year, which is 2001. Second two sets, 06 month, uh, it'd be June, I think. And it gives us 12, which is the day, June 12. And the last two numbers is a summary line. I've seen all that up to 15. So, probably goes way higher than that. There's 15 different assembly lines out there. But really, all that's important is I usually look at the first two numbers, which is the cubic inch, and the last two, the first two numbers of the last code, which is what size of cubic inch it is. Those are pretty potent on these engines here. So on many of the single cylinders, this is the 2000, you will get a stamped piece of metal either on the side, this is an Intex, this is right there. But also right about here. That engine has it, that's about 97. And I think a couple of years before they did that, about 90s, they had them on the valve covers up here. I honestly like it up here on the valve cover because this could fall off or whatever. On the valve cover, you know, it's not going to fall off or anything. There's that. So you can get them on the valve covers here. I don't actually have any to display right now with them on the valve covers. 
but there's very easy to access. Usually, they're near the spell plug. That would be near the spell plug. Could be near the spell plug up here too. This V twin here has the fuel pump on the right side. I'm looking here. It's on the right side here. So that means there has to be this little pulse line coming from the valve cover, which means they can't put the numbers on the valve cover, so they just put them over here. There are the numbers, it's a 40 cubic inch, and it's a 2001. So that's really all I need to know about this engine. It's also a 44 cubic inch V-twin, which is obviously more desirable, but this is a good V-twin still. Here is just another single cylinder, it's a 28 cubic inch. And it's a 93. So it's pretty old. It's not too old, but uh, 28 cubic inches, 31 cubic inches. I don't really know if they've made any smaller single cylinders. Yes, they have made like little push mower engines, but I really don't mess with that stuff, so I really don't include that stuff. And here we've got an older uh, single cylinder. This is not an overhead valve. So they've just got the numbers on the shroud here, which is a good spot. As I said, it's very near the spell plug, so if you don't know where your numbers are, usually they'll buy a spell plug. They could be up here, or they could be up there. This one's right next to the spell plug. So on this opposed twin, this is a 17 horse, which is a 42 cubic inch. There you go, the numbers. So it's got a 42A707. That's a really common number. See, it's an A. So it's a 42 cubic inch right there. Second one, which would be B. It's a 42A. C, we've got it's a 5 to 9 because it's a 707. So that means it's a vertical shaft. Shaft's going vertically on it. Second one, or the 0, 70, it's going to be plane bearing. Which means it's just got this sump down there with a, a bearing surface, no ball bearings, no pressure lubrication, none of this stuff, just super basic. And then last number, the 707, it says it's an electric stout 12 volt with an alternator or a stator inside of it. That's your most basic opposed twin that you'll get. And then over here we've got 99, it says. It says right there it's a 99. So see, you can see what month it was made, and then the day it was made, and then the very last two numbers are which plant it was at, but that's not really useful information. Just knowing the first two numbers, the 99, is pretty useful. We've got this 20 horsepower, it's a 46 cubic inch, this is numbers. 46 cubic inch, it's a 5 to 9 because it's got a 7 in it, so that's what the basic design is 0 and 7, vertical shaft. Mm -hmm. This one's a little bit different because it is a 777 seven, seven instead of a 707, so it doesn't have just plain bearing. It's got a plain bearing, but it's also got pressure lubrication on the vertical shaft, and it's also a 7 at the end, which is very common, which is, means that should scout 12 volt. Take this over here. Show what up is special location. So that's always nice to have one of these post twins. These will be more rare to get because they're not as many common. And you can also see here on each head it will say 46 1 and over here it's gonna say 46 2. Right there. In case if you're missing these numbers, so that's always useful. This is my 1959 uh, tractor. <laughs> Under the hood is a horizontal engine, Briggs engine. Let me get this blade up. So there's the engine. As you can see, it's a horizontal shaft. But the problem is the numbers aren't the same. They're actually pretty close. I think the model number is the same, it's a 14 cubic inch. Um, 3 means it's a vertical or uh, horizontal shaft. I don't know what the second one means. 0, it's got no lubrication, just a plain bearing. 
and then two gives us the pole stout. So there's that, that works. Probably the type works too, but the serial number is actually a little bit different. That's the actual serial number. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video of off and run modes. Hope you guys found this video useful. And now you should know how to code any of these engines. So, until next time, stay tuned for more.